All right. Quick little aside before I start here. Again, this is Hobby Fist doing some GeoGuessr. On Friday, oh my god, I got very upset. I did terribly. And I promised changes that I was going to try harder. And the number one thing I tried harder to do was uh, to learn the difference between Spanish and Portuguese. And I will tell you about that the second I hit start challenge. And just to fill those others in, five rounds, four minutes, try to get 20,000 points. So I tried to find the difference between Spanish and Portuguese, and you know what I learned? Nothing. Literally nothing. I tried many different websites that came up on my Google search, and by many I say the first five I saw, I scrolled down. I didn't click all five, because Jesus, who has the time? And I, I wanted to find out what the difference between Spanish and Portuguese was. And you know, everyone there, when looking at... You just straight up blurred out the whole way. When looking at the information, they just uh, assumed that you already knew uh, Spanish or Portuguese, and it would help you learn the difference between the two. But as a layman who doesn't really know either language, didn't help me at all. No, not not in the slightest. So I just had the the old man thing where I just said, why couldn't there be just a website for what I needed? I tried Wikipedia, and it just told me pronunciations and differences between a proverb, one in Spanish, one in Portuguese. And then they did the thing where they try to pronounce, like, show you the pronunciation, and it just looks like English wingdings. That somehow we're supposed to know what these words are. And then, oh, so that e is upside down and backwards. That means this type of e. But the funny thing is, the only way to learn how to uh, how to say those words is you already knew, know the word. And it's like, oh, so that type of e sounds like this, like that, like nasally upside down e. No idea what what it actually sounds like until you say the word that it, it's it's backwards for learning what the symbology is for whatever that word is. And I just wanted all right, I just wanted the very simple way to tell the difference between the two, and I couldn't find it in the first couple of searches. Everyone else was uh, just assuming that you already knew again one of the two languages. I guess all the other websites I found were from polyglots, which I guess are just a really gross word for learning how to say multiple languages I feel this is on the coast I'm gonna click up here and uh, just reminded me of a time when my dad at the time he was running a golf league and this was back in the uh, God, late 90s maybe yeah late night had to have been late 90s for another story entirely but oh that's super raining but whatever um, he was doing a golf league, and he was responsible for setting it up. He had to uh, send out the invitations to everybody who was going to play in the league that year. And then um, he wanted to put the stuff, uh, gather the information online. I'm going to click over here. I'm probably really wrong, but we're, we, we know how terrible that can be. Hey! hey! Um, D105, all right. And he was sitting there, like, he came to me. It's like, all right, where can I find this on the internet? It's like, he wanted to find where the website would be for his golf league so he could start working on it and putting it together. And he could just refer everybody to that link. And I, it was like, Dad, that's not how the inter internet works. He's like, well, why not? It's like, the internet just doesn't magically make web pages for you. You actually have to make them because... He was under the impression that anything that he held in his hand in paper form would automatically already be on the internet. And he thought that it was just magic. Every time like a piece of paper printed out, it would just be on and click there because who the fuck knows. It would just be on his uh I was closer the first time. Yeah, like the little piece of paper he had everybody sign up with for the league would automatically just ha be instantly copied onto. This isn't even a road. Like, what am I... You're doing this on purpose, GeoGuessr. What? How? What? This... 
I mean, what am I supposed to do? Did you hear me complain and be upset? And you're like, all right, challenge accepted, motherfucker. Let's see how you do. Because I don't know what this is supposed to be. Is this supposed to be like Eurasia? There's, I don't know if I'm going to click fast enough to get to a yurt over here to find out if this is actually like Mongolia or something. What the hell is this? Why, why do you want to ruin my confidence, GeoGuessr? Is, is this like some sick, perverse thing that you guys get off on? Get on that road. Come on. Alright, maybe if I can see what these horses look like. They don't seem to care about cars, so they are domesticated in a sense. Although, some of you look a little, uh... You got the ribs. Well, those ones do. Well, this is a farm of some sort. I don't know what the hell this is. Fuck me. Well, I'm just gonna click over here, because... Seriously. They have power. But I don't know. I just, this 100% derailed whatever I was talking about. We got some goats. That looks like a pug for, to me for some reason. What the hell is this? This is like a rally track. We're on the fucking Dakar. Only this, we're not in Africa. We're in Central Asia. God damn it. I'm, I'm not going fast far enough. Like, I want to go faster, farther. I almost just want to be like, fuck you, game, no. I, I would like to have, like, one pass around, maybe, just because... There's nothing on any of this... ...screen that's gonna tell me anything. Well, they use Roman numerals. I'm not getting anywhere. If you get this, like, my hat's off to you. If I wore a hat, I would. But I don't. I used to wear hats all the time, and I think I wore a hat so much as a kid. Oh, we're getting on a road now? Oh, we're here now? Fucking four minutes into it, we're finally, we're finally at a road? Quote, unquote. I go faster. This is useless to me. Why does it feel like there's a road up there? And it's just gonna be no, you're not in central fucking Eurasia. This is actually Europe. This was just a part of the the, the English countryside. The only reason I'm not saying that is because it looked like I'm on a Range Rover. My god, this I've seen nothing. They do have culverts and drainage. This feels like this is a highway up here, and I it's refusing to let me get to it. Come on. Yeah, I've I've got I got absolutely nothing. Well, I guess it was Mongolia. Alright, whatever. I mean I did complain about never getting um Anything fancy as far as unusual countries, and I'd finally get a Mongolian one. I'm going to give this four stars because I like Mongolia. Granted, I wasn't alive at any time when Genghis Khan existed. Khan. Khan existed. Chengis. I really like to say his name, so... I have a little bit of uh, distance between me and him killing, what, a tenth of the human population at the time? That's the problem when you end up living so far away from atrocities of any kind. I mean, yeah, Genghis Khan conquered most of the known world and some of the unknown world at the time. Fenno? I don't know what any of this means. That's a bus stop of some sort. Um... Well, I'm going to say it's here again. Again, it would be helpful if any of those websites existed to tell me the difference between 
Spanish and Portuguese, but I think Joao is a Portuguesean thing. It's Christian, whatever that is. But I remember my uh, history teacher in high school. Really liked the guy. Well, I had a couple of good history teachers or social studies, whatever you want to call them, in, in high school. And that really does help you to, you know, if you find something, you're maybe even if you're not that interested in it, having a teacher who's actually good at what they, at like, what they, they're doing what they love and it, it comes through pretty obviously when they're teaching to you. But um, he, he put it, uh, an, interesting, ugh, an interesting point up with the, the length of time and the amount of history and what his uh, books have to cover. And at what point is there so much history that a lot of the stuff that we thought was super serious when we were in school, like World War One, World War Two? eventually gets to the point where they just uh, abbreviate it into something he called like the uh, the wars of German aggression. I mean, it kind of just, um, I don't know any province that'll be PRC here, but it kind of like belittles what all those wars actually ended up being, but you know, history, it just keeps happening. And if you got, if you feel like you need to cover a lot of stuff, because at some point, what the hell? I'm not finding PRC, so we're just gonna keep going unless PRC is one of these. I doubt it. So, but that that's gonna be a dilemma, I guess, at some point when it comes to history. Either they're just gonna be like, all right, here's general history of. I don't know what. Well, what are you gonna figure out? What's what's important as far as things to study? Because who knows? Maybe um, oh, we are passing you finally. Let's stop BR. Yeah, I don't know any PRC. High, there's no provinces that are PRC though, or states, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna check real quick. No, I don't see it. If you do, you've got better eyes than me. I don't have very good vision. But maybe at some point, history's like, listen, humans have been around for a very long time. Well, human recorded human history has happened long enough now that we're running out of... Uh, this is mountainous of some sort, I feel like. I don't know where PR... There's no PRC anywhere on here, so... Like, all right, we're going to break down... What... Oh, finally, a road sign with zero seconds left. PRC. All right, what up? Again, that's 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 a punishing score. I'm not I'm not doing very well again. I really wish I didn't do so terribly, but I got I got duped by the uh, Mongolia guess. Good for Mongolia. But maybe as far as history goes in the future, like okay, recorded human history. We're gonna start with this section of the world and maybe. Oh, God damn it. Whoa. This part of the history is going to be about... Um, humans in, in Asia between their first recorded history until, I don't know, the year 2000. And then the next history is going to be the year 2000 to, I don't know, the heat death of the universe. This, this is real... Like, hypotheticals, I guess, because heat death of the universe doesn't happen for a very, very long time. And if you really want to get uh, nihilistic or hopeless of any kind, just look into the heat death of the universe. Or what's going to happen to our sun, and eventually it will engulf this entire planet, and then it's just going to leave you with this hollow sense of nothingness in your life, being like, my god, nothing I do matters, because all this is going to be engulfed by the sun in millions of years so what's the point of anything that that, that was the first time whenever like i don't want to depress the fuck out of you by talking about this but that just bummed the bum me out so hard like granted everyone has one of those moments i guess when they they read something like very profound and somehow it just clicks in them somehow like oh my god this is Either this is amazing, this is hopeless, this is fascinating. 
and that just happened to me with the heat death thing. But I've kind of gone like half touch on one thing, half touch on another, and I'll, I'll go back to the history thing of I like history. I enjoy it quite a bit. My my degree ended up being in Russian history because at the time I was undecided when I was in college, but I happened to get again a teacher that was I found seemed to enjoy her stuff. She ended up being a she was a professor, I believe, of film, and I think it might have been Soviet film or, or early Russian film history. I don't know exactly, but it also meant that she could teach Russian history, and uh, everything that I read about it was just hilarious to me. I mean, it's at the time was it, it's kind of like the 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 dark humor, I guess you could call it, of just the Russians and how. Let's back up and take a look at this car real quick. And every country has, like, peculiar... Well, it's a Nissan, but I don't know where you are. It's a nice car. Maybe we're up, we're over here. I'm, I'm basing this again on nothing. But uh, the, I'll give you one example. I wish I could remember the uh, specifics of it off the top of my head because it's been a while since I've taken uh, the Russian history course or brushed up on any of it. But there was a time when there was a... Uh, uh, Czar at the time, I believe it was. It might have been of no Novgorod. I don't know exactly. Maybe Tver. I it, it was way back in the day, and the uh, I believe the king died, or the no, no, the the prince died, who was going to take over the throne, and then a little while later, the king died leaving a power vacuum, and then all of a sudden, this guy just came out of nowhere and said, no, man, I'm the king, or I'm the prince. I, w I didn't die. No, that funeral and everything you saw, that wasn't me. I'm alive. And everyone's just like, well, I don't know. We can't tell. Uh, I know who can actually tell for us. Get the queen. And so they go find the queen. Again, this is... Okay, whatever. No stars. All right, get the queen. She'll know the answer. So they go to get the queen... And they're like, all right, a lot of people are like, this obviously isn't the guy. The guy, we bury the guy, he's dead. So they go get the queen, the queen's like, no, 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 that's that's totally my son. Um, he should be in power, I should be back in in the good graces, I guess, of the, uh, the, the royal palace. Like, because I guess when her uh, husband died, there was no one to take the throne, so she just kind of was left without any of the uh, fanciness of being in the royal palace and all that other stuff. So uh, she's like, well, this guy obviously isn't my son. Everyone else kind of doesn't believe that either, but I kind of like being in the royal palace and having all the fanciness that comes with it, so I'm just going to say this guy's my son, and we'll just, uh, we'll all just go back to living in the, in the royal palace. I'm like, that's kind of hilarious. There's also a story of a guy, um, I think he died never losing a battle. This this isn't New Zealand, is it? It was the guy's name, I believe it was Suvorov. S-U-V-R... Well, just phonetically, I'm trying to say it now, and I'm just being an idiot, and it's, and it's just not registering. I'm trying to say it, and it's like... No, you can't spell right now because you're trying to click in on a mouse and think of where this is. And I guess that's too much for my brain to figure out. Um, I believe this is England. Maybe Scotland. But I haven't found anything telling me anything. So, this is just another bad round. I mean, at best, if I somehow nail this, I'm, I'm still up with a terrible score because fucking Russia... Or I should just call the country uh, from where with the Olympic athletes or whatever the hell it's called. Man, I think it's funny though that guy got busted for curling. I mean, who knew? I'm sure there's something that you need to do for curling that requires you get doping in in whatever. Um, well, that's a lot of C's, E's, and A's. Are we Welsh? I'm going to click down here. That could be very well Scottish or Welsh. Clink. Like 
sorry I butchered that, but what am I supposed to do when it's 20 consonants and 10 of them are C's? I think I learned in Welsh that W's are vowels? Passing place, okay. I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about Welsh for some reason. And the only thing I remember that is, I guess, in Welsh, W is a vowel. I don't know if that changes anything. That's like saying, yeah, no, you know the word C, the letter C? That just means uh, it's a vowel now. Like, I don't know if that changes anything, but Welsh is a weird language just because I don't speak it and don't understand it. It's using the English letters, but I can't tell you what any of it means. Is this just going to be a straight up dead end? I think I drove to a dead end. Tell me what you are. Reward me for coming this far. Project Trust. Sending Young. Oh, is this a school for ne'er do wells? Is that what this is? All right, let's go this way then. In the short amount of time I got. Oh, single road passing. Okay, that doesn't help me. This probably just says single woody woo too. Oh, oh, I guess it was Scotland. Whatever. Oh, we're on the Isle of Coal. All right, whatever. I can't be mad. Well, I kind of can be mad because fucking Russia and Brazil, but I saw at least an unusual place in Mongolia. Uh, well, I'm trying is the best I can say for figuring out how to do this stuff better, but I still haven't found a very good way of distinguishing between Brazilian and Spanish. And I don't know what to say about that rush, I guess, other than a, the, the general region, just because of the way the road looks, made me feel like I got the right latitude? But fucking sprawling as fuck, I can't always pinpoint it. So I guess Mongolia doesn't have roads, which is a horrible thing to say, but it just looks like this part of the world, and there's just a huge guess, and... <sighs> I'm trying. I'm sorry. This is another bad round. I'm trying to get good, like I said. It's just... The GeoGuessr's upping its game, too, at the same time, so... I guess challenges are good, so I can't complain that much, but... Thank you all for watching. Uh, check out the rest of the stuff on the channel. Evo and I are playing a bit of uh, Total War right now pretty fun uh there'll be three more episodes up this week starting on tuesday alternating with geoguessers so give those a check uh give those a check out i can't talk i'm sorry have a good day folks we'll see you at least back for another round of geoguessers on wednesday if not sooner everyone have a good one we'll see you next time